Hello. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. That's all for now. Pretty go. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well let me know if they turn anything up. 
What are you going to do with that? I have no idea. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. <laughs> Ralph found this to feed the little girl. Good for her. A present. To make up for past misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. <laughs> Come. Come and sit down. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. It wouldn't be polite for her to refuse, would it? <laughs> great. <It'd> be great. <laughs> succulent, you'll see. Succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Father, mother, little girl. Please, Carl. I don't want to eat that. What did she say? She said she can't wait to eat it. She's very hungry. The little human is not going to regret it. <laughs> Ralph found the best, the biggest one he could find. <laughs> this is going to be succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Go ahead. Eat. We're going to stand up now, and we're going to leave, Ralph. No. No, you're not going to leave. Until Ralph says so. I saw the body upstairs. You killed that human, didn't you? No. No, he was like that when Ralph found him. Ralph is sorry. He just wanted to be your friend. Then let us go. Anybody home? There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. AX-400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. Are there any other androids here? Other androids? No. Ralph is alone. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you.
anyone upstairs? No. Nobody. provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no longer. Thank you. 
Welcome to Jericho. What's going on, Deviants? Draco Invictus here, and we're going to take a look at our first episode of 2019. And I've put together two of them because they kind of have the same kind of a theme. They're both on the run, you know, Kara and Alice, and then Marcus as well. I could have easily, I mean, it would have worked out for the timing um, to make this two separate episodes, but I wanted to kind of do something special for you guys uh, for the new year. And uh, put these together, give you a little bit more of the game in a single episode. And we actually get to play as all three characters in this episode. So it's kind of cool. And at first I was like, oh shit. Now I have to play as Connor looking for Kara. This is crazy. But it worked out really, really well. I mean, I, I wanted to stay true to Connor. And, you know try and find Kara because I didn't know where she had hidden and stuff like that. So I was just kind of playing along with the game. And let me tell you, those uh, those quick action things with, you know, Kara and Alice running across the freeway, um, I almost got her killed a couple times, I think. You know, because, man, I think if I had one more failure that, um, that I probably would have gotten either Alice or Kara killed. And that really, really, really would have bummed me out. So, but, um, and of course, there were some some choices that I had to make that were done over the action and over the voiceovers and stuff like that, uh, that I did not want to edit out simply because I did not want to destroy the, um, the actual, what was going on. So, for instance, when um, Connor was going to jump the fence and... He's given an order by Hank not to go. He has the choice to actually go or not go. And I left that in because Hank is talking during that whole choice sequence. And so I, I would much rather have the story preserved, Hank talking, than, uh, than edit out you know that, that simple choice there. And as you can see, I did choose to uh, to listen to Hank, and he warmed up to me. Yay! So <laughs> we will uh, see if we can't um, can't move that along further. And then, um, so yeah, so I'm glad we're done with Ralph because Ralph is freaking me the fuck out. And um, so I'm glad that we're done with him because uh, he was really, really, really creepy. And um, at, at one point, I was just like, you know what? Kara's got to take the stand. And, and you can see that in the episode where she's like, we're going to stand up and we're going to walk out the door. Uh, because I did not want to um, to be in that situation anymore. They did a great job of making me feel really, really uncomfortable and really kind of scared. Granted, we knew that Kara had the gun. But um, I was trying to avoid that if at all possible. Of course, I would have gone to that if it had forced me to that. But we were able to um, to navigate through that situation. But I'm so glad that we were out of that situation uh, with Ralph because he was really, really freaking me out. So let's move on to Marcus. And Marcus now has this, this pre-construct thing. And I'm sure that we're going to be using it many times in the rest of the game because it's this new mechanic that they're introducing and it only seems to be for Marcus I'm not seeing it for anyone else yet where he can evaluate the situation and you know there's multiple paths and so you kind of go through this thing of him kind of pre-constructing okay if I go here and then do this will it will I achieve my outcome and I'm really digging that that's kind of cool because you can kind of take a look at the different um, ideas that he has and kind of run through them quickly 
and it'll tell you, you know, no, sorry, it's too high or it's too far or whatever. So I'm really, really liking that whole thing with Marcus. And he found Jericho. You know, I mean, it. I, I like the fact that um, that it's this big old ship. It's this derelict ship that's in dry dock, you know. Um, and it's kind of cool that like they make you take that almost like a leap of faith kind of a thing uh, into into the ship because you can't cross with like a like a galley plank or something like that. So Marcus has now found the resistance, and um, so we still don't know who RA nine is or what RA nine is, but I'm sure we will uh, get to that. But now he has found the resistance. And poor Kara and Alice, they are still uh, out on the streets, but at least they're both safe-ish. I think Kara may need a few adjustments in, like, her hip or something like that, because she got tagged a couple times by those cars. But, uh, yeah, so there we are. We actually got to play all three characters uh, between these two separate scenes, so that was nice. Um, I do like the whole cat and mouse thing. I... It, it's tough, though, because I want Kara and Alice to be safe, so I don't want Connor to, to, to capture them, but on the same token, I want Connor to do well as well. So they've done a really good job. The, the, the writers and the way they've put this together, they've done an incredible job of making you care for each of the characters, or at least in my case, I care for each of the characters. I want them all to do well. I want them all to do their thing. But I, at the end of the day, I still don't want Connor to actually catch Kara. So we'll see how that plays out. And uh, yeah, so um, let me officially uh, say Happy New Year to uh, all of you guys watching out there. I did not do a New Year's video. As you guys can probably tell by my voice, I am still not feeling well. I've actually gone an entire week uh, not playing um, pretty much anything. Um, I had this uh, these episodes recorded and stuff like that, and I knew that I needed to get them uh, out to you guys. So, voice be damned. Uh, cold be damned, I'm going to make sure that I get this video uh, out to you guys. But I, I'm feeling myself starting to be on the mend. I'm starting to be on the backside now. So my voice used to be much, much worse. So uh, anyway, uh, Happy New Year to all of you guys. And um, may we all find games that we absolutely love and enjoy. And uh, maybe we can even share them. And um, I know that in the next coming year, um, there's going to be lots of changes in my uh, life uh, that are going to be coming about. So hopefully I will be able to still put out some great quality videos for you guys in the time frame that I like doing it. And uh, we will just have to see how that goes. But um, yeah, I want to wish you guys a happy new year. Uh, be safe out there, and until next time, Deviants, you take care of yourselves out there. This is Draco Invictus saying this has been the greatest day of my life. See ya!